YouTube channel. Today's video is very exciting because I'm going to be filming a pack with me for three weeks in Italy. I am so excited for this trip. I have been waiting to go on this trip for so long. I feel like I planned to go so long ago and now the time has finally come. But essentially I'm going to Italy for three weeks. I'm going to Venice, Florence, Milan, Rome. It's at like the saying those words out loud. Like I haven't really said those words out loud before, especially on my YouTube channel. This is crazy honestly. I'm going to be spending Easter in Rome and that is just like the coolest thing ever to me. But the one video that I knew I wanted to film was a pack with me because I was like searching on YouTube to find a good pack with me video and there weren't that many. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make one myself. So if you're going on a trip soon or if you're planning on going on a trip, this video may be like really helpful to you. Or if you're not going on a trip, maybe this could just inspire you to maybe go somewhere new this year if you haven't already. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything I'm packing, the suitcase I got, my carry-on luggage and if you enjoyed make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, all my social medias will be in the description box. Trust me you want to be up to date on all my content because the travel videos and content is just going to be insane. And without further ado let's jump into my suitcase and all my packing. Literally, how is this real? Anyway, this is the suitcase I got. It is from a brand called Strand Bags. I'm not sure if they're an all Australian company or if they are in other countries as well, but here in Australia we have a shop called Strand Bags and they sell suitcases, duffel bags, backpacks, all that stuff. And that is where I got my case from. And this is the brand Neuro from the store. Like they sell all different brands. If you, if does that make sense? It probably doesn't. But the reason I love it so much is because it is my favourite colour. To find a suitcase in this colour was proven to be actually really difficult. So I'm so glad I got this one. When I wanted to buy it, it was actually sold out and I was so sad because I didn't think they were going to bring it back in stock. And then somehow the universe was on my side and it came back in stock and I got it straight away. I got the matching packing cube, the matching luggage strap, the matching drink bottle, the matching luggage tag. I literally got everything in lavender but at least everyone will know at the airport what is mine and then all my stuff for the trip which I've bought so far is inside this case because that's where I've been storing it but I also need to get all my clothes out of my wardrobe and put them on my bed and just like I think I'm going to just put everything for the trip on my bed make sure I have everything I need and then put it in my case I feel like this packing process is going to be like when you clean your bedroom and it's it's more of a mess afterwards than when you started my room is now an absolute mess as I said previously before I started this video I just knew this would happen I've gotten out about half of the stuff that I'm going to pack and ticked it off my list so I'm just going to start honestly packing now because anything else is like skincare or whatever and I'd rather get all my clothes in here first so I'm not surrounded by mess. I got these packing cubes to go with my case and I've never really used packing cubes before but I've heard amazing things from them. Once again these are from Strand Bags. I'll leave the links to my case and my packing cubes and everything down below. I feel a bit overwhelmed I'm not going to lie. I don't know where to start packing. We're going to pack tops first. No, pants. We're going to put our pants in here. In regards to pants, I got all my flares from Spray. I love flares and I thought they'd be the perfect thing to wear every day for day trips because you can walk in them. They're comfortable but they still look really put together. So I got the black pair of fold back flares from Spray. And then I got the same flares in Phantom. I also have an active wear pair of these and another plain black pair. So I have four pairs of flares which I think will do me really well for three weeks. Two other pant options I'm bringing with me are both of my Stax leggings. I have this gorgeous teal colour and then I just have my plain black leggings. I feel like you can never go wrong with a pair of black leggings just to lay up or also if we go for like a hike or a walk or whatever I have an active wear option. These also fold up really small which I love. Now I have a pair of black flares but these ones are actually different because they are the active wear material from Supre. I think I'm also going to put shorts with pants.
pants because that just makes sense in my head. So what I've bought is this pair of striped shorts from Maya. These have the elastic waistband which I love and I probably won't be wearing any shorts because it will be pretty chilly over there. But just in case we do have a warm day or whatever because they're going into spring I think so I'm not sure how the weather will be. I switched packing cubes, my pants are now in here. I might put my evening outfit in here so like my more dressy formal clothes. For my formal clothes I have this gorgeous matching set from Supre which is the black Lux long sleeve that goes with the black Lux maxi skirt. I just thought this would be a super nice, also warm outfit to wear at night. So I'm going to roll this one up. And then I also have this grey skirt, which is the same as the black maxi Lux skirt, but it's just in the grey. I think I'm going to put pyjamas in the other small packing cube. So I have another one. For pyjamas, I'm bringing my cute little short sleeve. I love breakfast target pyjamas just because I would like to have a pair that I can just wear in case I am a bit hot when I sleep. And then of course I am bringing my brand new satin Midnight Mischief pyjamas. These are white and they have the long sleeve and long pants. I think these will look really, really nice just for like breakfast at the hotel. Or if I want to do something in my pyjamas, these will be like my elegant pyjamas. And then I'm bringing, because it's Easter of course, my Peter Alexander Easter bunny rabbit pyjamas. I have the long sleeve top and then the matching long pants. And then finally for pyjamas, I wasn't sure how many pyjamas to pack for overseas, but I've got these long floral pants from Target with the matching floral t-shirt. I figure with pyjamas, you can kind of wear the same pyjamas for a week if you want to. I've got this little black singlet from Kmart, which I think would be perfect just in case I want just like a little singlet to go to bed in, you know? And I can wear that with any of these pants. I'm going to put this pillowcase in with my pyjamas because I'm aware I don't need a pillowcase going over Overseas, the hotels will have ones, but I'm a bit of a princess when it comes to like my sleep and stuff. Pants, pajamas, evening wear. Now I think I need to do jumpers. I'm going to be bringing this lovely jumper from Target. This will be more of like an evening, like formal jumper. I am then bringing this zip up jacket just from Target. I think I'm going to pack this jumper. It says Amalfi Coast on it, and I just feel like that would be so perfect in Italy. I'm going to pack my. Is this H&M? Zara. I'm gonna pack my Zara denim jacket. I love this thing so much. I love this because it has so many pockets so I can put my camera and phone and I don't even have to like bring it back. Finally, I think I'm gonna bring this Ed Sheeran jumper just because it's super cozy. I'm going to pack my Stax white slimline jacket because I feel like this will be a really good thing to be able to layer. I'm gonna put my tops in here because I think they'll fit the tops I have. This is like long sleeves as well. I am bringing a lot of things to layer. So I'm bringing this white long sleeve from Cotton On. I've also got the gray one, which I'm going to wear on the plane. I have the same long sleeve, but in black, which I think will be super handy and just nice to have. These can all go under jumpers or jackets or whatever. And then I have the Supre Luxe white t-shirt. And then I have the same white t-shirt, but in black black which I think will be super handy. I love black t-shirts because they're just not see-through, they go with everything and they roll up so tiny. And then I bring with me this Glassons top because it's one of those things which you can just put on whenever and you don't have to wear anything underneath it which I love. And then I've got this white t-shirt which is intended to go with the pink shorts that I packed earlier. I've got these two singlets. I've got a white one from Cotton On which looks like this and then I also have a black one. And then I've got this yellow t-shirt. And then I think I'm going to pack this off the shoulder top just in case I want to wear something cute one night with my maxi skirt. And that should be all my tops. I'm going to pop my jeans in my pant packing cube. I've just got these Lily Loves Target jeans. These are my favourite jeans to wear. I'm aware I'm going at a really cold time, but I'm just going to pack a swimsuit just in case. Then I've just got this rain jacket in case it rains, obviously, so I'm just going to pop this in the side. I don't know what to do with this white puffer jacket. I'm obviously bringing it, but I don't know whether to wear it to the airport because it's going to take up a lot of weight and room in my case. I think that's it for clothes. One quick intimate
mission later. It's now like two hours later. This has taken me so much longer to pack my case than I thought it would. But I was just speaking to my mom and I feel like I'm on an okay path with packing. I got this giant toiletry bag from Sports Girl and it essentially flips out like that so I can put all my skincare and stuff and see it clearly in the bathroom. So what I did, I went to Chemist Warehouse and Priceline the other day and I just picked up all my skincare but in smaller, more compactable versions. So I got the Cetaphil Moisturising Cream and then I got the Nivea Sun Protect Facial Sunscreen. And then I'm just going to pop in some cotton makeup pads as well. And then I'm also going to pop in my Ordinary, of course. I am then going to pack this QV body wash. But I'm also going to bring the Sweet Light Candy Ariana Grande body spray. And then I'm also going to bring my little hairbrush slick back set. And then I've just got a floss set. I'm actually going to take a couple of these out because I think these would be really handy on the plane. I've then got the Pantene shampoo and conditioner, which I'm just going to pop in this pocket of my case. In a Ziploc bag, I'm going to put my heat protectant because I don't trust that it's not going to go everywhere. And then I've got my comb and my hairbrush, which I think I can just put... I'm going to put my hairbrush on the plane, but I can put my comb in my hair section. I found my cleanser, which is great. I'm going to pop this in here as well. Now I have my little skincare bag. Why is that the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life? Oh my god, that is so cute. I love. Okay, we're gonna pop that in. My hair dryer. My hair dryer, I feel like it can just go in my case like that. And then I need to put my hair straightener in, but I'm a little nervy. I didn't know if people bought their hair straightener box when they packed their hair straightener. Like, is that a thing? I could always use this as my hair tool section. I'm just going to bring my little cotton on canvas bag. I feel like this will go with all my outfits. And it's so good with storage as well. You can fit so much in it. I'm also just going to be packing in my Princess Polly slides. These are honestly the best things I've ever purchased. In this bag, I just have a hair claw, a bow, some hair ties, bobby pins, and a black scrunchie. Because I love my hair accessories. That should be everything honestly I can't think of anything else that I sort of need to pack I'm now going to pack my hand luggage my suitcase is done I just weighed it and it weighs just the amount that I need it to so fingers crossed they let me through but this is the bag that I'm using as my like airplane backpack also for day trips I'm not sure where it's from because I got it for my birthday what I'm gonna put in here is like my laptop my chargers I just decanted a little bit of moisturizer my ordinary serum and my sunscreen into these little tubs that I got from Target. I'm not bringing makeup on the plane but I will want to bring some skincare and I'm also just going to bring some wipes. My loop earplugs these will be an essential on the plane. I've got my little camera case here it's got two SD cards in it. I'm hoping that's enough space. I have my portable charger. I'm going to make a note for myself to make sure everything is fully charged Sunday night. I've got my hairbrush. I've got two little lip balms. I've got my glasses and my my book. My book is like my main source of entertainment so I can't leave that. Now I've got my journal. I'm just going to grab a really cute pen for this. Here I have a little Ziploc bag with all the skincare that I decanted for the flight. Then I've got this little word search to take with me. I'm going to put my toothpaste in but I can't put my toothbrush obviously until I've brushed my teeth the morning of so I'm going to just leave that for now. I've just got my wallet here and that has got all my money in it so I need to go through here. I'm gonna throw my glasses cleaner into a spray bottle just in case. Now I've just got some gentle Cetaphil cleansing wipes and lastly I've got this little jewelry container with a couple of my things in it. And with that all being said that is my suitcase and carry-on all packed and ready to go. I wrote myself two big sticky notes one for tomorrow and one for Monday. The one for tomorrow says charge everything and the one for Monday says pack charges in bold letters because I'm not forgetting anything. Touch wood. But that is me all packed. I'm a little nervous to go through customs because I think I have gone a little over the weight limit. I've got everything all here and organized but I have been doing this since 11am and it is 3.30. Today has flown by but I'm so glad it's done.
time. So once again, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos coming out. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. All my social medias are once again in the description box so you can keep up with all the exciting things happening. And I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. <laughs>